What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So I've got a special one for you today and I'm really, really excited to show you this business because there's so much that we can learn from these guys. I've been trying to push on my channel recently the importance of doing things better than the next person. It's no secret that the dropshipping space is very, very competitive and most people are put off by that and see it that it's too saturated and you can't make it work anymore. However, I'm very much a big believer of if you do things better than the next person, then you will succeed. And this business is a brilliant example of this. In their first year in business last year, so they're kind of late on the trend when I show you the product. They did over a million dollars in sales and over 400,000 US dollars in profit, selling what most people have said in the past to be considered a saturated product. Before I show you exactly what that product is though, let's take a look at the business, let's take a look at the financials, and let's take a look at some information of how they got there. So 2023, the first year in business, revenue of $1.1 million, 420K profit. They're currently holding approximately 400K of stock. It's one single product as well to make or to simplify the process. And it's opportunities to partner with influencers and push into Europe, Canada, and Australia. This is a business that currently gener generating its revenue. So as it says here, 80% of their customers are in the UK slash EU and 20% in the US. So this is a company that's predominantly making its money outside of the United States, which in itself is quite rare, especially when it comes to e-commerce and the dropshipping space. You mostly hear about people talking about the US, of course. This is a product as well that flies off the shelves. So the ups and downs, I'll show you the revenues for the past 12 months in a second. The ups and downs you're about to see are due to quickly selling out and then waiting on inventory to be produced and shipped. You will see these dips in May, June, August, September, October, so on and so forth. So let's take a look at the financials then and I'll bring in the arrows. Let's take a look at the financials then. We can see they did heights of 300 grand in revenue and heights of profits of $137,000. Remember the dips are due to lack of inventory, lack of production. So had they been able to keep up with demand, maybe this annual revenue would be somewhere closer to $2 million. Nonetheless, a very, very impressive business for its first year in business. And like I mentioned in the introduction of the video, there's so much we can learn to take away that if you have been trying dropshipping up to this point and it hasn't worked out for you, then you must, must stay tuned because what I'm gonna show you next will definitely change your perception on dropshipping and will definitely change your perception on what the best strategy to use is. So primary expenses, 12 grand a month, marketing, 30 grand a month, about a grand a day, and then transaction fees of over $3,000. Let's jump onto their website then and straight away you can see immediately exactly what their product is. It is an ice tub, they call it an ice tub. There's many names for it, ice bath, cool tub, cool plunge tub, lots and lots of different names. The first thing that probably sticks out to you is the branding of the products and as we can clearly see there with its logo on it. This is something that you just don't see on a typical dropshipping store. Now you may be thinking these guys aren't dropshipping, correct, so how is it relevant to my business? But it is very, very relevant. The amount of people who try and throw up white label products, general stores, selling the same products as the next person, they're essentially building a business that anybody can compete with in the space of 24 hours. If you build a very stereotypical dropshipping store with white label products, I can open a store the very next day and be an equal competitor to you. These guys, you cannot do that. It's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of investment to get to the same level of these guys, which immediately, puts them at the top of the pile when it comes to competition and being a leader. How does this apply to dropshipping then? Instead of being too much of it in a hurry, take your business seriously. Instead of thinking I'm gonna make 10K in my first month, pull that back to maybe a couple of hundred dollars. Spend those extra couple of weeks developing the brand, speaking to lots and lots of different suppliers, see what the costs are for getting your product printed with your logo on in small batches of products that are suppliers that will do it. Depending on what your product is and obviously what your label is or what your logo is, there are some suppliers out there that will be able to do it for stock quantities of maybe 20 or 30 at a time. If you don't have the capital or the funds to do that, then just stick to one or two samples. Most companies will do that for you. Yes, you'll pay a premium, but having those samples will allow you to film content, content that you will own, content that nobody else will have, and content that will separate you from everybody else in the same 
niche. As we scroll down, keep an eye on the imagery. So it's original imagery, everything features their products, their logo is always clearly in view. Everything ties in really nicely. They're using the same fonts consistently throughout. Everything has been custom designed and everything has been built and geared around to create this brand. If we have a look at the product imagery, again, it's got the logos on, it's got the same people, it's got people smiling, having a good time. It's got different people that are using the products, which increases the social proof and makes the business look more legitimate. If there's more and more people, if there's lots of people using a certain product, then it instantly carries the impression of being a good and quality product. All original imagery, it's not imagery taken from AliExpress. If you were trying to drop ship with AliExpress imagery, then instantly you are gonna be on the back foot and it is going to harm your chances of success. Spend a week or two getting to grips with tools like Canva so you can remove the background edit out any kind of references to Chinese brands, put shadows on the cutout of the images, put a white background, put some sort of podium that your product sits on, put different icons and imagery like this one, quality installation, five layers. In fact, I think the actual badge is from Canva because I think I've used it before in something else. So just spend a week or two getting to grips with Canva so you too can create custom and original imagery like this. If you have samples of the product, this is dead easy to do and absolutely no excuses now with how good the quality is in smartphone cameras. You can use a smartphone camera to produce pretty much all of the imagery that you will need. Two different sections of the website I want to show you then. This section here, which features the product in three different colors, kind of this one on the right obviously has a whiter um, inside, but every single one has its logo on. And then I wanna show you this section here. Again, three different colors of the product, three different people using the product, and three different testimonials using the product. Anybody coming onto this website will have zero hesitations about whether this is a legitimate company or not. That is your biggest number one hurdle when you are drop shipping. And people have been burnt from ordering things off social media. So they always have that kind of natural hesitations about whether it's a legitimate business and whether they're actually gonna receive the product or not because they've probably been burnt before in the past. So by having things like this on your website, instantly validates that you're a real business and instantly has an impact on how successful you're going to be. I want to show you their social media pages as well because it's something you don't hear people talking about a lot, but a super important part, an imperative part to any business that you're gonna be running. People naturally wanna find out more information about your business. Going back to that point I mentioned earlier, they wanna make sure that you're legit. So if they go onto your Facebook page and they see IceTub recently just changed its profile picture and it's a really kind of pixelated profile picture. Again, you've got more kind of stock imagery recycled from AliExpress and it doesn't look very professional. There's no contact information, that sort of thing. Again, alarm bells are gonna be ringing in your consumer's mind and if that's the case, they just will not purchase or buy anything from you. These guys have nearly 2,000 likes and over 2,000 followers as well. So again, that sort of thing instantly helps people feel more comfortable uh, comfortable and confident in buying from a real business. To build up 2K likes and 2K followers, it takes about 50 pounds. Definitely an investment worth doing, running engagement ads to give off that impression of being a professional business without having to spend the thousands of pounds on conversion ads and kind of getting them organically. Something else I wanted to show you was this video here. So there's the box that obviously arrives when somebody buys the product. The box has the logo on. This is a real person on camera unboxing a product that is branded, it shows the unboxing, it shows the setup, it shows exactly what the customer is to expect. And again, it just lays any kind of hesitations to bed that this is a legitimate company selling a legitimate product. Next time you sell a drop shipping product, take some time to film content like this and put it on your socials and put it on your website. Show the box that it comes in, show unpacking it, show how to use it. And little touches like that make all the difference because they're things that not everybody else is willing to go to the extent of doing. Something else I wanted to show you as well, which is super important. So as it says here, our customers are engaged. A lot of dropshipping businesses, once they've sold the products, they don't care about the customer, they've got their money, see you later. That shouldn't be the case. Try and build a community of people that keep coming back to your store, to your business, because they enjoy who you are and what you're about, what your message is. So our customers are engaged, loyal, and love sending videos of themselves cold plunging that we can use in our social media. That is marketing gold. Every legitimate customer you have to post on your socials, to post on your website, to show that somebody's actually received the products, they're happy with the products, and they're using the product, it's just brilliant, brilliant marketing content and will 
and can make the difference between success and failure. So how does that apply to your business? No matter what you're selling, whether it's a dog collar, a dog harness, whether it's an LED light, ask people, ask your supplier to put a card in the box that says, hey, take a video of you setting this up, take a video of you using it, take a video of your dog sleeping on it, whatever it may be, send it in and every week we'll do a raffle, every week we'll do a competition or we'll send you some sort of gift voucher, whatever it may be, give your customer an incentive to send you content of them using the product. And this is all content you can plaster across your socials like these guys have to prove that people like your product. Final piece of the puzzle then, let's take a look at how they're advertising this product. So 110 different results, lots and lots of different ad creatives, lots and lots of different versions. These guys have definitely gone to the nth degree to test things to find what works for them. And the key takeaway from this, and I think the reason why most people don't go to these lengths is because they're in too much of a hurry. If you are trying to make money in your first month and your first two months, then good luck to you. Yes, it is possible because you can kind of cut corners and do the traditional route that most people do and you might get lucky. However, by taking that extra time, taking that extra care, taking that extra attention, you're much more likely to end up with a real brand that is sustainable and gonna be around for a long time and make you even more money. $400,000 in profit in the first year is very, very successful. As we scroll down then, the ad creatives, like they're fairly simple. So this is obviously just a image cut out of the product, 55% off code, too much. They're using the kind of FOMO, I guess, marketing angle, we've made too much. Oops, we actually made too many ice tubs and need a quick blowout. So that's their kind of reasoning for offering a big discount on the product. Then we have some samples of different videos. These could be videos that film themselves. It could be videos from customers. Either way, the whole thing is all about social proof. It's showing people using the product, showing people being happy with the product, and it's showing the benefits of it as well. And just to reiterate that, we can see with this creative here, which instantly is quite eye grabbing because there's somebody with their shirt off flexing, of course. Um, ready to experience cold therapy from the comfort of your own home, question mark. I love using questions in that first line of my ad creative because instantly it gets people thinking about the answer to the question, and then they actually bullet point out the different benefits of using the product. Um, and then a very simple and straightforward call to action, try now with a link to their website. By the looks of things, it doesn't even go to their product page either. They do the different benefits there as well, laid out with different emojis. They follow a very consistent theme actually when it comes to the actual primary text, the text above. They actually list the benefits in by the looks of it of all of them using different variety of emojis. And like I mentioned earlier, they've clearly tested to the nth degree to find what works best for them. And with that being said, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Before you go though, a very, very quick message. If you are looking for a mentor, somebody to hold your hand through the entire process of finding a product, finding a supplier for that product, private labeling it, marketing it, making ad creatives and launching it to 10K per month and beyond, then let's have a chat and see if I can be the person to help you get there. If that sounds good to you, what you need to do is blow this video um, just click this link here next to the mentorship link, the hidden call link. What it's going to do is going to take you to a series of questions, six or seven questions or so. It's a two minute process. It's kind of like the gates to make sure that the people who are serious about this are the ones that take the time to fill out the questions and answer them properly. One of the questions, for example, is what would you like to achieve after working with me for a couple of months? It allows me to kind of gauge where people are at and where they want to get to. And if their goals are realistic and achievable and I can help them achieve them, then you'll get through to my calendar where you can book a time and date for us to have a chat. If you put answers like in two months, I want to make half a million pounds and retire my family, buy a Lamborghini and work from a beach for the rest of my life, then you won't get to my calendar because to be honest, it's completely unrealistic goals like that and you're not really the person I wanna be working with if I'm honest. So if you have realistic goals and you like the style of my videos and you like the idea of working with myself, um, head there now, check it out, put your answers in and I look forward to having a chat on the call. Thanks.